hello guys so in this video we are gonna make a new a new android app and what is this app actually uh, we are gonna make this app here this is college student communication app and what is this this is basically this application will, uh, will enable college students to communicate with each other on a single platform it will give them uh, the facility to chat and share important notice through it there will be a login page for the user and a code to join the same group so this is a very simple a simple app and uh, we are gonna use uh, this um, the backend for this app is firebase because it is very easy and after that we are also gonna use uh, for this app mongodb so first of all we are gonna use firebase after that we are gonna uh, use mongodb for this app okay so now first of all we have to create here a new project and so i'm gonna create a new project so, so for that particular time i'm gonna pause okay so our project uh, is ready so now you can see that this is the main activity and this is the drawable files and here we have layout okay so this is our layout so we have to uh, do here some things like that first of all we have to make here a login page and after that in that uh, a chat a chat room in that anyone can enter using that code so uh, these things we have to do in this app so what we can do here first of all we have to create here the layout or the design for this app and before that we have to connect this this project with firebase so basically yeah so i am assuming that you have some knowledge about firebase that how to connect firebase uh, with uh, with an android project and how to send data in firebase if you don't know then don't worry i will tell you all the things in the in the next videos or in the coming soon i mean in the when we are building this app uh, i will tell you all the things that how to do these things also uh, i will show you that how you can send a notification using firebase functions but uh, for that we have to use uh, firebase uh, pay as you go plan uh, so so yeah we will do all the things later so first of all we have to create this uh, we have to connect this app with firebase firebase so what we can do here uh, what we have to do here first of all go to this tool and here you can see that this is firebase so now uh, click here and connect your project with firebase so i am pausing the video here so uh, for sign in and sign up page we have to connect our app uh, with with firebase using this authentication thing using authentication we can do email and a password authentication we can use facebook we can use twitter and and many more things so here we are gonna use uh, we are gonna use the um, email and password verification after that yeah so uh okay so our app is connected to firebase now you can add authentication to your app you can do this thing here after that yeah it is connecting means it is downloading all the libraries that are needed for uh, for this project after that i'm gonna use a firebase real-time database for for this app so basically you can click here and here add real-time database and yeah so for this time we are gonna use only these two things i will tell you all the things later so now yeah both things are connected yeah so these things uh, so like that we can connect our our android 
Android uh, project with uh, with Firebase. So now go in the project and in Gradle build files. In here, here we can see all the libraries that we just uh, earlier like that. This is the Firebase authentication and this is for Firebase database. Okay, so now. We have to do here yeah, some things like that. We have to one minute. It will take some time. It yeah, like that. You can see that uh, these are not the latest versions. So you can do one thing here. That when we hover over here, you can see here that the latest version for uh, this library is 19.4.0. So just write down it here. 19.4.4 like that for authentication also 19.3.2 so like that write all the things here i am pausing the video now we did all the things now sync this all the libraries with this with this project so they are syncing okay now first of all we have to create a login page so just do one thing go here and Press the right uh, button of mouse and create a new activity like that you can create a new activity so now give yeah this is the login activity okay so, okay so now uh, we have to do one more thing here so this is our project on firebase so basically if uh, we have to do one thing here we what is that the first thing is here we have to enable one authentication one sign in method here and we are gonna use here email and password authentication this first one so you can uh, share that we have found authentication Google Play Games, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, Yahoo, Microsoft, Apple, and uh, so many things here. Now just enable and save it. Okay, so now uh, this thing now we are using real time database, so we have to do some basic uh, things here wait for some time yes create database this is a test mode enable it okay so um, yeah so this is uh, here our data will save here so now um, I'm gonna just show you that how you can you can save your data here so go in the app and do a very simple thing if you want to save your data there then we have to use here a very simple thing that is firebase database so like that use firebase yeah, Firebase database dot get instant dot get reference like that anything like that you can write in null and after that some child or you can directly put the value there so like that child if this is one and you want to set value you can set here three four five six anything so if you run this project then you can you can means uh, when you run this project here you will you can see that free here it will add the thing so like that here the first thing is null null and the value is here also we have some child so add oh what happened Oh sorry the first thing is here null 
and here we have to do one more thing that is child this is the first child and value is 3 now add it like that when you run this project you will see this thing there here means here okay so this is for uh, this video i will uh, uh, teach you all the things in the next video so thank you for, for watching this video